Hey guys, it's Crafty Crafty 71 and today I'm going to give you guys a craft room tour. So first I'm going to give you a brief overview. Now let's get on with the video. So first I'm going to start over here and I have this 9 unit white kind of storage unit. On top, I have my Lazy Susan, which has all my paint colors on it, and I usually use Craft Smart. Over here, this is all the paints that didn't fit in there, and it was usually my browns, grays, and blacks. Over here, this is kind of like my tool caddy, and it has my paintbrushes, my Bic markers and pencils. I have some Elmer's glue, glue sticks, tape, my blade for my paper cutter, exacto knife, scissors, hole punch, tape everything. And then over here I also have my duct tape and I have like different colors. And on the side here I have this plastic container which has all my canvases on top of it. Now over here I have foam, construction paper, I have some string that I use for some bracelets. I have this little organizer which is for my thread for my sewing machine. Then also have some big containers of paint and some glitter glue. In here, I have some of my tools. I have some like beetles and my hot glue guns. And then over here, I have my lanyard for bracelets in these different colors. I have my air dry clay. I have my perler beads. And these are some that I finished but I didn't iron. And some little, like, cup organizer things I don't really know. Now, over here, this is the left bin. It has all my tissue paper and some decorative stuff. In here, this is all my fill and my fabric that I have. And some Velcro. And then over here is some random things. But I have some pipe cleaners and some foam stuff. Down here, I just have some random kits. I have this kind of crocheting one and just the sketch kind of thing. Over here I have my crocheting stuff. And so I have like my crocheting hooks and everything and my yarn. Over here I am crocheting. Well, not really crocheting. But I am making a scarf. And over here I have all my glitter glue and some sequences and beads and, stuff, and some stickers. And then over here, I have this kind of three-drawer thing. So I have some bigger scrapbooking sheets, some sketchbooks, and, and other construction papers. And then I have my bigger canvases and my canvas panels. And down here, this is kind of where my curtain goes. The curtain going up here, and it has a ribbon tying it off, and it goes down there. Then over here, I have a paper shredder. Also, on top of that window, I have these felt things. I've got an owl and a butterfly, which I might decorate. Then over here, I have my rainbow loom stuff. On top, I have, like, my finger loom set and another organizer. And here I have some extra rubber bands, my actual bracelets. This keeps some of my rubber bands and also this bin. And then that's really it. Over here, next to my radiator, I have this kind of organizer. And it has these shoe boxes, which I use for crafts sometimes. Over here, I have this canvas drop cloth, which I use to make my own canvases. Over here, this is kind of random, but I have this poster for a thing which I rolled up. And if I don't want to get my surface dirty, I just put this down. And I have my trash can, which is just a trash can. I just put all my garbage in. Now switching to the other side by the door, I have these chocolate box boxes which my grandma gave me and I like to store some things in there. I also have this organizer for all my string. I also have this quilt magazine and over here I have some cards that I've gotten. And then over here, if I can move this chair, I have my sewing machine which I got. I guess I'll show you. I don't really use it in videos or anything. But I have this and then I have this is my sewing machine. That thing really that special. Now down here underneath my table, I have my air conditioner, which will go in my room soon. And then I have this kind of organizer thing that I made. That's my cutting board that my dad made me 
for my exacto knife i have my tabletop easel and my paper cutter and i just have some case i kits sorry kits that i gotten for my birthdays over the years now onto the table i got this table and and <laughs> table and chair set from the salvation army just kind of like a drift store and so i got this for 50 bucks i think and what I like about it is it's kind of taller, so I could stand and work. Over here, well, I just have some smart water. And then I just have a comic that I'm trying to finish. It's not really something special, just like a rough copy. And then also in this little shoebox, I have just some mounting tape and my watercolor tubes and a glass, which I usually use for painting. Now over here, I have my sand. And so I have like a brown, a white, and a pink. And over, that one has just some decorative stuff in there that has some glitter in there and that has some, just some scissors in there. And yeah, it's really it for that. Over in this corner, I have this suitcase which has some art supplies in it. I also have this heater which can also be an air conditioner. Then in this corner, I have a tension ro rod, tension rod, which I put all my ribbon on. That's really it for this video. I hope you enjoy seeing my craft room. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.